So looking back at the TFI back catalogue, you can see I've got videos from four years ago. Uh, these are the first videos that I ever did. Uh, the quality of these videos is absolutely terrible. There's some overpowering background music in them. And the audio's garbage as well. Uh, I was using an old headset and there's a watermark floating around in them. So new people to the channel, I don't expect them to go back through 300 videos to see these older stuff either. So because some of these older videos are still relevant for today, but they're done on old software, I'm going to selectively pick some of these old videos and redo them on today's Inventor. Starting with this one here, 3D Orbit, stop the model shooting off screen. What the heck does that even mean? Right, heading on over to Inventor 2018. When you do a 3D Orbit, right, my preferred method of doing a 3D Orbit is to hold down F4 on the keyboard, you get this blue crosshair doodaddy thing appear, press the left mouse button at the same time as F4, and then the model will orbit around like this. Right, straight to the point, what's it doing, right? Well, when you do a 3D orbit like this, the model is orbiting around what's called a pivot point. That pivot point is frustratingly invisible. You can't see it. It would be nice if they showed it, but they don't when you do this kind of an orbit. Uh, and the problem, the problem that we're facing and that you might not even realize, but you, you, you suffer with it, is when you move over to a different part of the model, miles away from the pivot point, which is currently over here, and then you do a 3D orbit, what happens is the model shoots off screen like this. It's really, really, really frustrating. What you've got to do is fix the pivot point. And to do that, it's dead simple. And what you'll find is when you become more proficient with the software, you do this just without even thinking, you start doing it automatically, is you press F4, and before you even do an orbit, just give the part of the model that you want to pivot around a single quick left click, right? So I'm gonna pick the center of this cap, quick left click, the camera will center onto the cap, and that's now the pivot point. It's as easy as that. And you can just do, keep on doing that. Go to the wing mirror, right? The pivot point's back over the back wheel, so this wing mirror would have shot off screen. F4, click the wing mirror, the camera will center, and we're now pivoting around that wing mirror. And that's it, that's it, that's how you do it. Uh, if you do want to see the pivot point, you can turn it on, but it's it's not it's not easy. It's just it's not something that you'll find yourself doing on a regular basis because it's quite clunky. But you can go to the, the the redundant, irrelevant steering wheel or the navigation wheel, which is this button here on the navigation bar, or you can go to view and then this drop down here with the navigation wheel and touring absolute rubbish i don't know why there's nobody uses it but click full navigation wheel and then with this thing floating around your cursor just click orbit right and there's your pivot point it'll show it why they don't show that when you do an f4 orbit i've no idea it would be really useful you can also see it if you hold the left mouse button down on the view cube but frustratingly it resets the pivot point and it puts it in the middle of your model uh, when you use the view cube but there's the pivot point there uh, we're going to reset it f4 let's put it back on the wing mirror use the view cube, you can see it puts it back to the middle. <laughs> it's looking awful. But anyway, that's how you stop the model shooting off screen. Uh, press F4, give the model a quick left click wherever you want to pivot around, and then that's now the pivot point, and you'll find yourself doing that automatically. Right, I get asked this a lot in older videos, is how do I 3D orbit? Because I don't use the keyboard. Hmm, no, this is how I orbit. Hmm, lovely and smooth. <laughs> Delicious. Never have to worry about pivot points again. Uh, the way I 3D orbit is using a 3D connection space mouse, right? This is not a sponsored ad or anything like that. It's just what I use. Uh, but I use a space mouse enterprise or a space mouse navigator. And it's one of these little doodaddies with a cap on it. You rest your left hand on the cap and you just move this cap around. And it's like you've got the model on, it's like you've got the model in your hand. Uh, and that's how I 3D orbit. I'm going to do a separate video on 3D map. I've done them in the past, but I'm going to do a different one. Uh, but I use a 3D mouse to usually do my 3D orbits. Uh, when I've got it hooked up. Otherwise, F4, left click, and then that's how you stop the model shooting off screen. Right, I'm just waffling now. Thank you very much. That's the first in the redoing series, version 2.0 of the older videos. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next one. Toodles.